Good morning guys, I hope you can hear me. Listen, I've been trying to get the perfect filming location but it's been so hard because everywhere I go um, the lighting isn't good enough or there are people walking up and down like noise. Even so, today right now there are people walking up and down but this is the best I can do. So I hope you can hear me but you know, I'm, we're just trying to work with what we have. So today is Monday. Um, I woke up in the best mood I don't even know why but I'm excited because today we actually have a new consultant and I'm excited to meet him or her for some reason um, I hope they're as cool as my last consultant because I had like the best consultant last week for my firm I'm doing medicine right now but hopefully this new consultant is just as cool so I am excited to meet them but you know we'll see how it goes fingers crossed um, it's 9 o'clock right now, so I'm about to head back to the ward. Hopefully, everyone's here and we're ready to start ward rounds. Hopefully. But, yeah, I just woke up in like the best mood. Guys, let me tell you something. If you're thinking of vlogging, becoming a YouTuber, you need to and you want to start filming outdoors, not just in your bedroom or when you're alone, you need to have some kind of confidence because trust me, when I'm filming, people literally stop and stare at you sometimes. Uh, it's just awkward and sometimes you lose your train of thought when people are walking up and down and just staring at you So it's something I have to work on and if you want to get into that field Definitely something that you need to consider and work on <laughs> But anyways, uh, yeah, so today After ward rounds, we have to actually catch a bus for 12 o'clock. I think we're going to the chest hospital if I'm not mistaken, or the Cancer Hope Institute. I'm not sure which one, but I'm gonna try to vlog that if I can. But you know how it is um, in the hospital, it's hard to vlog certain things and people, well not hard, it's impossible to because, you know, confidentiality and stuff like that. So I'm trying to vlog outside as much as possible and not break any laws or get you know anyone on camera that though that doesn't want to be on camera so we're gonna do that so i'm gonna head upstairs right now and yeah i i just feel really good about this week and i love my outfit let me show you guys my outfit um yeah i've just been wearing you know my top inside my pants lately you know so that's what i've been into lately but yeah so I'm gonna go find my colleagues and my firm and we're gonna get this day started and hopefully you're having a good day too. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share because liking and sharing really helps my channel guys. And thank you so much for watching and I hope, you know, I hope this vlog comes together. I have no idea what I'm gonna film but you know, it's a weekly vlog of medical students and what we do. You know, this is my, what my channel is gonna be, just medicine. Um, what it's like being a doctor or a medical student in the Caribbean so yeah that's what I'm gonna film where is my kit N95 mask yeah so I try to usually double up my mask I don't know because this mask actually gives me the worst allergic reaction on my face so I double up my masks um, this is a cloth mask obviously it's not sufficient so I put this one just over it usually and guys I've been taking a lot of iron lately um for the past couple months i've been feeling really dizzy if i'm standing for longer than maybe 15 minutes and when i tried to give blood in one of my other vlogs you can check that out i tried to give blood and they told me that my my iron was too low i'm like oh no wonder i'm always so dizzy and stuff like that so i've been taking iron supplements and it has made a huge difference huge honestly for the past month i've been taking iron supplements and i feel so much better i'm able to run run longer i'm able to stand longer i just feel so much better generally so don't sleep on iron and vitamins and stuff like that and i've also been taking multivitamins every day so i feel like that's worked wonders for me so don't sleep on it it's actually really good so 
let's go get this day started and hopefully i can get some better lighting because i know this lighting right now sucks um so yeah guys come on let's do this let me mask up okay let's go to the ward okay guys so i'm in the ward i just arrived but my um my team is not here yet so I'm gonna wait for them to arrive um but i found my colleagues which is good um we started in ward three but i'm in the annex so i'm gonna have to go downstairs and um yeah we're we starting so you know you know how that goes so i'm gonna do that and then see how the day goes see how the day unfolds yeah. guys I, I didn't have breakfast so i was thinking of getting some some snack but i'm thinking why not get a party because i'll be leaving soon in two months so i should get me a party because when i get back to st lucia ain't no jamaican parties there so i might just do that okay carlos let's head oh yeah we can pass there yeah where is um nice yeah i vlog you have a youtube channel you know i just send you my link <laughs> so okay guys we're going to watch free finally so this is you being ready for School. Yeah, you, you like weekly vlogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is Carlos, guys. He's one of my colleagues. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna stop filming because I'm in the hospital. But uh, yeah, see you guys. This one, y'all. Ooh, my fave. This is my fave. The Nibbles fudge cookies. Oh my god, so good. Ooh, hi. What do I want here? Now. Okay, so we ended up not going to the chess hospital, but we um, ended up going to Hope Institute. There was a little function there on lung cancer treatment and staging, and this is more in the rural um, parts. Not really rural, but it's more on the outskirts of Kingston. So, yeah, so we got on the bus and we ended up being transported to there. And I'm going to show you guys inside the conference room and set up. And they actually gave us a little refreshment afterwards. So that was really cool. But I really enjoyed it. Um, I learned so much and it was just a really nice outing. Excellent. <laughs> okay, so we just arrived at the rehabilitation center, but we have no idea where we're going, and we didn't, um, we didn't really get directions. So we're just waiting um, to see who's gonna come get us or what we have to do, you know. So I'm gonna try to vlog. I don't know if I can vlog inside, but you know, it's nice being here. I just want to see. Um, it's new, mm -hmm. so I'm excited to see what we learn. Um, I think we're doing lung cancer treatment and management and staging, so that'll be exciting. Okay, so we're in the conference room. Um, someone let us in, but it wasn't a doctor. I think it was one of the security guards. So we're just um, waiting to see what happens. But it's kind of cool. Um, there's air conditioning, so you know you can't go wrong. But we'll see what happens. Here. My classmates are behind me, and I'm at the front, of course, because you know. No distractions. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. Okay, so it was so hard to film because I did not want to start just filming the doctor who was giving the presentation. But his name was Dr. Alexander and he's a clinical oncologist who did about two years in South Africa. So it was nice. And they gave us refreshments afterward, which is what you see now. And this is my plate. It was literally food, but I ate about half of it before I actually took a short video of it hey you guys welcome back to the vlog i have no idea when i stopped vlogging the last second remember is i left the hope institute the lung cancer um lecture i think that was the last thing i remember but i'm not even sure but i'm gonna try to combine um you know these two vlogs as much as possible but yeah i did not vlog in the past two days i have been exhausted um it's been really hectic the new consultant he's actually one of the nicest consultants he's so nice um dr ferguson but he's 
he um he likes us to be on top of our stuff so today uh, we actually had to go to the clinic and click patients before the real doctors arrived so we had to get the history and physical examination of the patient and stuff and when he came present the um, findings to him so yeah and then tomorrow and then after that i had to go click a patient another patient because tomorrow he wants us to present um on our patients so it's just a lot of stuff so i haven't been i've just been getting home and trying to study because yesterday we actually had a class on infective endocarditis and it was just like it's just been a lot going on i don't want to fall behind on the stuff that's going on so that's what i've been doing just trying to stay afloat and abreast with what's going on and it's a lot like gosh but I want to finish this vlog. Oh, and Monday's a holiday. Today's actually Wednesday, but Monday's actually a holiday. So I welcome the holiday. I'm going to try to do as much as I can in that long weekend. But a friend of mine actually wanted to go to some waterfalls. I don't know if I'm going to do that. But if I do that, maybe I'll add it to this vlog. Or maybe I'll have a separate vlog just for that. But we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure. In fact, I need to call her after I film this to find out what is going on with that. But yeah guys that's what i've been doing but i got some studying to do but first i need to go work out then i got some studying to do tonight to try to put my um my findings together to present tomorrow so yeah let's do that work out then uh get our stuff together so with my top bun i'm at the field i just run around the field twice um and I'm trying to incorporate different stuff. I don't only want to do cardio anymore. All of this is cardio, but I feel like it's working more muscles because I'm jumping and it's like a circuit training almost. So I did the feel twice. Whoa, these kids are loud. So I did the feel twice and um, I'm doing jump rope for about, when I did the field for 30 minutes and I'll do the jump rope for 30 minutes. Then when I get home, I have weights I want to live for another 30 minutes because you know too much loose skin but guys let me tell you you need to make time to work out i know i'm not any fitness guru i'm not some kind of cardio freak but you could see earlier in my video how tired i was lethargic and just sluggish but just walking to the field and starting to work out, I just feel so much better. I feel like I have so much energy. So don't make any excuses. Half an hour a day alone makes all the difference. I promise you. And you just feel better. And yeah, if you can do it before work, even better to just have all this energy to tackle the work day. But I'm a sleeper. I don't like waking up early. Anyways, let's continue working out. And then, yeah. I just feel better and I'm ready to study tonight. Guys, it was so funny. Like I was thinking it's so the sun is so bright today. I don't want to go work out because I don't have any more sunscreen. And when I looked on my window, because I was gonna cancel my workout, when I looked at my window, I saw like the sun was hidden behind clouds and it was just kind of gloomy. And I feel like God is telling me, Sonny, I hold back the sun for you so you have no more excuses. You need to go work out. And I'm like, okay, God. I hear you so yeah I just had to get up and get dressed and head to the field but I don't regret coming I feel like you never regret working out you only regret not working out so yeah I just feel so much better and I'm just like thank you God for holding back the sun because yeah I was probably gonna cancel anyways <laughs> let me put this down and start doing my jump rope so this is me back from working out I feel so good yeah just waiting to cool out and then hit the showers then start studying tonight and i have to wake up early tomorrow because i want to see my patient before world rounds i want to examine her so yeah hmm. it's gonna be a long night but it's gonna be an early morning as well so let's just get through tonight <laughs> guys so it's been a long day i'm doing some work right now um, with my patient. I'm just reading over the history I took of her. But I just remembered, or I just realized, sorry, that I forgot to ask my patient if she felt any pain when she was vomiting. And I'm like, oh, how could I have forgotten that? But I did. So I definitely want to see her tomorrow bright and early 
to see if she felt any pain and where the pain was etc just to get a history general idea of the pain <laughs> i can't believe i forgot that but in my defense when i was taking a history i kind of was in a rush not really in a rush but i didn't have as much time as i would have liked because i had class at 12 when i arrived to see her it was like 11 30 and she was just getting um some food from her family members so i had about 15 minutes to take the history and she had a lot um yeah it was a lot the history was a lot because yeah it was just a lot <laughs> i don't want to give out too much information but so i forgot to ask her that which i feel like kicking myself when i'm just rewriting because when i'm writing really quickly it's just not legible but i'm trying to rewrite it so i can present it tomorrow and i just realized i forgot to ask about pain and i'm like how could i forget that that's like so basic but it's okay i'm gonna have time but i feel like i asked her everything else and i have my problem lilies but i think i know what her diagnosis is i think well i know that she has sickle cell disease i think right now she has a gallstone that's stuck in her common bile duct that's what i'm thinking based on her symptoms but i'm gonna see what my consultants say um because the way she presented she had um like jaundice and stuff she had um the um pale stools dark urine and she did have a cholecystic but she did remove her gallbladder before but i don't know if there was maybe a stone left that was not seen so i want to see what her ultrasound will say and i think that will give a better idea but maybe not i don't know that's just a tricky one because when she told me that she had a gallbladder removed i'm like wait all your symptoms kind of point to that so it was just kind of mind-boggling so i really love this case and i'm really interested to see what um what's happening so we'll see yeah so yeah anyways guys i'm gonna end this vlog i'm just trying to air out my hair and get ready for tomorrow um thank you so much for watching until next time take care of yourself and each other and thank you for and please share this video bye guys